ever since the last season of Love After Lockup wrapped up, a lot of people have been assuming that Shantae and True aren't in the best place right now just from her post that she's made on social media. She posted to her stories and said, never let a dude that don't got ish never make you feel like you ain't nothing. And then she posted like this meme and it says how men be crying when you leave them but they've been cheating on you the whole time. And it was just a lot of things like where people like okay I feel like she's talking about true. Then she said leave me alone and let me be in peace. People around us both know why I walked away. I remained quiet and I took the high road. We still have years to do what's best for our child. And a lot of people are like, what is she talking about? Is she, because when the season wrapped up, she came out on live and claimed she never got pregnant again after she had the twins. And so people are like, maybe she got pregnant again recently. Someone shared this in a Love After Lockup Facebook group and she commented and she said, this is responding to my three children's father in response to what he posted being mad at our youngest is 15. Nothing I post on my social media will be about true on good or bad. So she's claiming she's not even going to talk about her and true's business anymore. The girl that True was flirting with at the gym, aka Shantae 2.0, she posted on her Facebook earlier and said, Shantae, don't drag me in ish. I didn't have ish to do with nothing or the post. He beat the F out of you, Buki. That is what you should be embarrassed by. You got caught cheating. Love, not me. Then she tagged Shantae and then she tagged True. Then she posted, True's little uncircumcised D got me effed up, woman beater. So True obviously did something to set her off again recently. So you let me know what you guys think. I think that Shantae has already shown us time and time again, it don't matter what this boy does does or how many times he cheats it seems like she's going to keep giving him chance after chance and I ended up recording a video it was like a, it was like um after their live after the season finale like where she claimed that the producers offered them like eight thousand dollars to break up for a storyline then they had to sign like an NDA agreeing or not NDA but a contract agreeing that they wouldn't talk for three years they ended up not doing that, but they shared a lot of other revelations in this live. And I said I was going to make a video covering it all, and I covered a few other things as well. But then I ended up just being incredibly busy that week. And by the time I did get around to editing it, a whole new season started, and I was just going to scrap the video. But now I feel like I should go ahead and add this here. So this is actually a recap from that lie that they did. This is from a few weeks ago. And then there's some new information too that I recently learned about, like where Shantae was trying to figure out a place to stay because her and eight other family members were about to be homeless, yet this was the same year that she was sending thousands to True while he was in prison. Before I get to that older video, someone sent me this morning this post from Shantae and one thing I noticed is Shantae likes to be very vague and misleading with some of her posts so people automatically assume she's speaking on true so she posts and says baby listen here don't call me from no jail I don't care who the F you is you better hit one of my siblings I'll help them pay something on the bail but I ain't never pressing a one or five on this phone ever in life again it's go be nine every time then people started sending me, they're like, oh my gosh, is True in jail? And I actually looked it up. He's not in jail. Then I saw that he actually commented on this post later on and said, somebody asked me out of them three numbers, what number are you going to press on me? And Shantae said, none, because you ain't going back there ever. Then Shantae posted the real reason, I believe, behind her vague post on Facebook. She said, with that being said, good or bad, I made $2,301.08 on Facebook this month, along with, I really don't give an F. And now let's talk about that video that I recorded a few months, or a few weeks ago. 
So, if I am talking about some things, just keep in mind that this was after the season finale that I filmed this. So, let's get to it. Let's talk about Shantae and True's live that they did after the season finale. And we talked a little bit about what they had to say in one video. Pretty much, Shantae confirmed that she never got pregnant for a second time. She claimed she miscarried the twins and they couldn't find a heartbeat. And she said that she has been living with True for a while now. Well, she was living up in Cape with True and that they originally found out that she was pregnant together. And I guess the production team made her reenact calling True and telling him that she was pregnant. And so she pretty much said that she is a little upset with production because she feels like they should have came out and defended her or shut down some of these things that people are talking about. She said that production knows the truth and if they came out and said something, then she feels like a lot of people wouldn't be on her like they are. I mean, but that's just part of what comes along with being on reality TV. She said that they're engaged and they don't have an actual set wedding date yet. They have a date that's special to them, but they don't have a date set in stone at this very moment. And she is open to having more kids in the future. And she claims that her and True are on good terms now. She said that her and True decided that they wanted to take time off between... I guess filming because they said filming took a lot out of them. They were filming for 12 to 18 hours some days for weeks on at a time and they said that they just really need this break now to just focus on each other, focus on their work and they said that they're not on bad terms with production. They claim that they just talked to production this past week so they're not shutting down the possibility of coming back in the future but they won't be on this next season of Life After lockup. Shantae claims that her and True declined to originally have the twins on the show. She said that True didn't want to exploit the twins, but then he turned around and said on this live that for the right amount of money, he would have put the kids on the show, but they weren't willing to pay what they wanted. True said that he felt like, look, since she's pregnant with twins, these are the first twins that Love After Lockup is going to have on their show. So he thought it was going to be like this big viral moment. And he felt like not only did him and Shantae need to get paid, but they needed to be paying them a paycheck for every twin or every baby that was in Shantae's stomach. And the producers were not willing to pay that. So the day that they told Shantae to go to the ultrasound, Shantae said, look, we're not doing that unless you guys are willing to pay up. And the producers ended up calling like the higher ups and they're on the phone with the higher ups for like a few hours. Then they came back and they said, look, we have to get something. We've already paid for this ultrasound appointment. And Shantae said that they agreed to just go to the ultrasound place and have Shantae go in, but she was never going to do it. So the plan from the jump by production was for her to not do the ultrasound. I mean, that wasn't the original plan, but that's what they decided to do after they weren't willing to do the ultrasound. And so they went, and I think that's why Shantae was acting so weird. Like, you could tell when she got out of the car and was trying to walk into the ultrasound place. It seemed like she was just, like, taking a few steps and, like, stopped because she was like, okay, end scene. That's enough there. And she said that after that, they said that they weren't willing to film the birth of the twins and... They said that they're not even willing to film the wedding that they have in the future when they do get married. They say if they do get married, they might provide a link online for their fans to watch virtually. But they said we will never see their wedding on the show. They refuse to have it on the show. And Shantae claims that her original doctor's office was at KU slash Centerpoint. And she said they wouldn't allow them to film there. And that's why they ended up going to a different ultrasound place that she ended up going to. And she was just upset that the producers never came out and spoke up for her. Which, I mean, I don't feel like they've ever done that for anybody. So I don't see why she expected them to do that for her. And 
I just feel like they're kind of getting big headed and that's probably why the producers didn't want to bring them back because like I understand like if I was pregnant I'd be like yeah you're definitely gonna have to pay me extra if you're gonna like want to if you're gonna film me like giving birth or in the hospital you know any of my special moments after I give birth where I'm in a vulnerable position I can understand someone wanting to get paid extra for that, but for someone wanting to get paid extra just for ultrasound appointments, and yes, I see they're the first love after lock of twins, but I really don't think it was going to be like that big of a viral moment that True was building it up to be. Like, yeah, it would have been cool to see, but it's not like that's going to be the episode that gets 5 million views versus a million views. True claim that he has only cheated on Shantae once. Shantae claims that she has spent like 90% of the time with K- with True up in Cape since he's been out of prison. She claims like they only broke up for a month. Then she went back up to Cape and she was spending most of the week there. And the only time that she would come back to Kansas City is when she had doctor's appointments or when she had to work. And she said she only had to like clock in for a minimum of three days at a time back then. So she was spending more than half of the week with True and she said that you know they just pretty much made it look like they were never together and they're always having all these problems but she claims it was a completely different situation when they were not filming she did address the fight with Shantae 2.0 she claims she didn't actually fight she claimed that Shantae 2.0 hopped out of her car and she claimed that somebody that she was with started fighting Shantae 2.0 and that's what happened and they also said i mentioned this in a video a few days ago that we tv was allegedly trying to give them eight thousand dollars well they offered true eight thousand dollars to break up with shantae and sign a three-year contract to where they were not allowed to speak with each other and i just don't understand that like i don't get the benefit of having them break up like because if that's the case then yeah they might get like a really exciting episode where he ends up leaving her in the season finale and everything that everyone pretty much expected to happen ended up happening but at the same time that means the show would be over for them in the future at least for three years since they're not allowed to communicate unless they're gonna try to bring like True or Shantae back with somebody else but even then we couldn't even really hear them talk about each other if they're not allowed to communicate with each other. You guys let me know what you think the whole reasoning behind all that is for in the comments below. Like I don't know if I was in True and Shantae's shoes if they offered me eight racks to break up I might consider it just for an episode like okay I'll act like we're breaking up for an episode but I think they kind of knew that True and Shantae had loose lips so that's why they wanted the contract to make sure that they weren't going to communicate with each other because they didn't want them to break up and then like a week later they're spotted hanging out with each other and that just kind of ruins the whole storyline but I just feel like they would lose more money overall to just cut their storyline short and have them not talk for three years and I think that's pretty much it all that they shared in their live their live was like three hours long on their YouTube channel you can go watch it if you want to hear more but that's pretty much all the big revelations that stuck out to me with these two also one of my followers sent me this post and this is a post from Shantae back in 2022 where she was posting like this help group for Kansas City and she said that her and nine people total were looking for a place to stay. She said, does anyone know of places that take a large family of nine, age ranging from two weeks old to 18 and kids? Issue is, I'm lost, my home due to safety, but my son has a dog that we're having a hard time parting with because of him losing his dad three months ago. And it's the last thing he has, but also because of the sides of our family. I'm basically an Airbnb or Hotel Weekly, but the baby was in NICU last week and I lost days of pay. So we can't stay here this week after Thursday. 
uh, when checkout is because I'm short till next week's payday. And when I first got this from one of my followers, I wasn't going to talk about it, you know, because I've came down on hard times before. I've been there and been homeless years ago when I was struggling. But then I saw someone else make a very good point. When she posted this back in 2022, this is when her and True were still together because they've been together for at least two and a half years. So this means she was with True at the time and she admitted she sent True thousands of dollars while he was in prison, yet she couldn't even pay her rent. It's just like, talk about priorities. It looks like she's in a better place now, so I'm happy for her for that, but I just wanted to touch on all that. Let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments below.